overwhelming. It was such an honor. I was excited, just full of emotions to see the president come to the school of the Choctaw Nation. He is the first president to put, place foot on our soil and honor our nation-to-nation -nation relationship. And to me, that's historic. Well, the Connect Home Initiative is about helping our people that's in poverty-stricken areas to help them gain access to broadband internet because so many of our tribal members, they do not have access to the world like everybody else does. And so in our low-income housing, in our independent elderly sites, that's what this is going to be about, is helping them get employment, helping them be educated. That's what this initiative is all about. The Trauma Zone is a wonderful endeavor from the White House, from the President himself and 20 communities will be selected all around the country, but Choctaw Nation was in the first five selected. And we are the very first tribe selected as a Palma Zone anywhere in the country. And this initiative really focuses on areas of high poverty, but also high capacity. So our partnerships with our communities and our partnerships with our schools and all of our local partners is what helped solidify us becoming a Palma Zone. We have the infrastructure, we have the human capital in place to really make a difference. And the changes we made over the last 25 to 30 years, those really positive impacts are going to be propelled even further through the promise end. So the recent awards the President announced today really culminate on about a year and a half of investment into our area. And this investment not only comes to Choctaw Nation, but it also comes to a lot of our partners by working collaboratively with them on grants and projects that benefit specific communities all around Choctaw Nation. I met him in December whenever I was selected to be a 2014 White House Tribal Nations Youth Ambassador. And so me and 36 other Native Americans throughout, Nat throughout Indian country were all invited to come to the nation's capital and meet with him and the Vice President and Attorney General Eric Holder and Secretary of Interior Sally Jewell and just different people like that. And then I was also invited back in April to speak on a panel discussion of not 36 but 4 on Native perspective and why I felt that it was important to incorporate Native youth um, and executive decisions that I feel are going to concern us, like they're not about us without us, like don't talk about us, you know, and say the youth need this, the youth need more of this without youth in the room. And then last week I was asked to come be a part of the first ever Tribal Nations youth gathering I guess and so me and the 36 others that were selected in December were invited back to be in charge of over a thousand youth from all across Indian country and so I actually landed Friday so I was going 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 to the president and he came to us this time so that was really cool. <laughs>